Hello, I'm Sam Gary. I'm a Power Platform Consultant at Valto. And in today's video, we'll be looking at five reasons to use Canvas Power Apps. So the key takeaways really for this video is looking at the initial licenses, what licenses are needed to use Canvas Apps. We'll be looking at how they can replace paper-based processes and forms. We'll be looking at those approval workflows and automation, and also a bit around reporting as well using Power BI. So to start with, we will look on uh, and touch on the licensing costs for Canvas apps. So I've got a better infographic, which I will show here. So these are the Microsoft 365 licenses, uh, which the majority of organizations will have at least one or, or two of these. And you can see we've got the Power Apps section here, and you can see there's a tick next to pretty much all the licenses apart from an F1 license. So what this means is that as an organization, if you've got a business standard, a business premium, or even an E3, E5 license, you can start to build these Microsoft Canvas apps without having to pay for an extra license, which, which is great. So if you're an organization that's potentially starting out and looking at the Power Platform, this is a great starting point because you're not having to pay for anything in you know, any additional licenses and you can start to have a play around and see how you can start to use those to maybe automate and digitalize some of those current processes that you're going through. So provided they uh, use a SharePoint backend, um, as I said, there's no additional licensing costs. We've then got replacing paper-based processes. So the point of using Canvas apps is to have effectively very quick data entry. So if you can imagine engineers, for example, in the manufacturing and construction space, going to site, having to fill out uh, a piece of paper or a form with lots and lots of information. They then have to travel back to the office, scan it in, email it across, and it's quite a long winded process. So what Canvas apps allow us to do is for people to be able to record information right there and then wherever they are, and that is going to be uploaded straight into SharePoint. So we can have a SharePoint library full of information, which has just been uploaded straight from that Canvas app. We've then got approval workflows. So we can start to create uh, approval workflows, uh, and this can be either at different stages, as you can see on the screen here. So maybe between stage one and stage two, someone needs to approve it before it could go on to the next stage, or it could be at the end of a, you know, at the end of all these, we then submit that whole piece of work to someone which they can then accept or reject. We can then have multiple approvers, so it might be a different approver at each step, and if they then maybe reject something at, at say stage three it then goes back to stage two and then someone else is notified. So we can start to do uh, that sort of workflow again with these Canvas apps. We've then got a bit around automation. So going back to, I suppose, replacing paper-based processes, it's not gonna rely on us to have to track everything on either uh, different files, you know, like Excel or Word documents. So we can really start to utilize the, the automation aspects of Canvas app. So again, as I mentioned, if we're uploading information or capturing information on a Canvas app, it's going to pull it straight through to SharePoint when you've got uh, either an internet connection. So we're not having to, again, scan things in and email things across. We can add all of that automation into these Canvas apps. And then lastly, we've got reporting. So these are just some quick charts, which is just plugging information out of a, of a Canvas app, but we can start to go you know, a lot more in depth using Power BI. So any information or fields that we've captured as part of the Canvas app, we can now start to report on. We can now create dashboards. So management might be able to have an overview of all the incidents, for example, that have been captured or reported in that particular month. You know, what departments, that maybe people are, are reporting more on. All of that sort of information, we can then start to uh, capture and put into reports. So just by way uh, of example, if I just go to 
our demo SharePoint site. So if I then go back to the incident management area that we've discussed, so you can see here, this is a nice home page for that incident management area. I can then click on to the incident management app. And you can see this is designed very much for a mobile device. Uh, again, one of the advantages of Canvas apps, which we've not actually spoken about, is we can build these apps to be responsive, which means that it can effectively work on any device. So the, the layout and the way that it looks will, will change depending on what device that user is logging in and actually using the app. If I click into report a new incident, we can just put a, a test for this particular one. You can see we've got drop downs here. So I can actually maybe change who the user is. So I might say actually Joe Bloggs is the name of the reporter there in the IT department uh, and you can manually fill in an address. If we're using a mobile phone, we might click exact location and the GPS of the phone is going to be able to pick up and we can then again report on the incident there and then. We've then got, as I said, these different areas of fields to fill out. And then we've got attachments as well. So if we can retrospectively attach images, maybe if we're back at our desktop or PC, but if we're actually there at site and we're, we've got our phone out, we can then click use camera and we could then just take a picture right there and then of that particular incident. So that's quite a nice uh, use case for these Canvas apps. This sort of situation is you'd be replacing like an incident logbook, for example. So rather than having to go back to the office, write out everything that's gone on with that incident, you can record that information right there and then using a Canvas app. As you can see, we can go back and have a look at other incidents that have taken place. And that can all again be captured as and viewed within the app, or we could then go back and view that information on SharePoint, for example. So going back to the reporting that we mentioned, you can see here, we can start to report on the number of accidents that have taken place within the month, what type of accidents they were and how many accidents per week. So we can get all of those analytics through uh, these quick charts as well. So just going back to this, hopefully you enjoyed that uh, sort of high level overview really uh, of some of the use cases and benefits of actually using Canvas apps. Uh, please feel free to connect with me on LinkedIn using the QR code. Uh, I post quite, quite, you know, quite a bit of content around uh, Power Platform. And yeah, if it's something that you're looking to explore or you're quite new or maybe you're quite quite advanced in your journey with uh, with the power platform and maybe looking at how you could start to utilize the platform even more then please feel free to to reach out there'll be a, a link in the description to uh, my bookings page where i say i'm always free uh, for a chat to discuss all things power platform but thank you very much and hopefully see you in the next video